course, uh, talking to farmers there. Thank you for that report. Moving on now, two widows of the late second national vice chairperson, John Wesonga, have faulted the teachers' union over what they term as mischievous hired burial of their husband. And the two claim their children were denied an opportunity to mourn their father and are worried his benefits may be diverted. Now, Nat S.G. Collins, so you has however assured of transparency in the whole process. Wasonga died three weeks ago and was buried in the wee hours of Friday. Mtu ambaye nafikiria ataleta tashwishi na benefits za John na wambia hache. Ya John yote lazima ya takuja kwake. Tume tamaushwa sana kwamba Secretary General wa NAT Bwana Oyo amezika baba yetu saa mbili ya subuhi kitu cha kwanza kitu cha pili mm, burial permit ambayo oyo ametumia kuzika baba yetu is a false burial permit kwa maana burial permit tuko nayo hapa na haijatumika kuzika baba yetu uh, the third complaint that we have kanisa letu the SK church has not been involved in the burial of our father Tulikuwa tunatarajia kwamba tutapewa nafasi tuomboleze bwana yetu akuje kwa maboma zetu hakukanyaga kwa, kwa boma lake alipitishiwa njiani na hata tukupewa nafasi hawakupea nafasi watu wa clan hapana shieni hawakuona mwili wa John mahali popote nimenyimwa hata watoto wangu wamenyimwa haki ya kuwa hata kuwa kuvio tu body ya baba yao hawakuleta hata baba yao kwa nyumba yao pia wakamon tumestukia tu wamezika na hii imekuwa interest ya nat kuanzia kwa branch officials mpaka national